Well, joining us this morning for Pet Place is Maureen from Pocatell Animal Shelter, and she has brought with Tiger, dog with a ferocious name, but he's uh, pretty much a sweetheart. He Tell us is. a little bit about Tiger here. He's a little, he's just a little doll. He, like any little dog, he, well, he gets a little nervous when he meets new people. Right. But, you know, once he gets to know you, oh, man, he's such a sweetheart. He just loves, he's been sitting in my arms for the last 10 minutes just kind of watching everything. Just hanging on, out, yeah. Just hanging out. He is such a doll. So, so speaking of dogs like that, you know, the dogs that are not really, they're not people peop, uh, people dogs mm -hmm. right away. How do you best approach a dog that's a little little skittish around people at first? Um, you just kind of just sit there uh, or stand. Let them come to you. Okay. Um, and they'll eventually come around and sniff you. Um, like with this little guy, his, his boundary, you know, big dogs don't mind it, but with little dogs like this little guy, when you come walking up to them, you're about 10 times bigger than they are. Yeah. And so they're going, oh my God, you're huge. You're gonna hurt me. That's their first reaction a lot of the times. So you just let them come to you. They'll eventually sneak, sneak up and smell you and get to know you. Uh, most of the time they're after that first initial contact, they're, they're, they're usually fine. pretty good with it. So give them that wide berth to start, yep, and yeah. then just after a while they'll, they'll come they'll around. They'll come around. This little guy, when he was in the front office one day, he had an accident, and he thought he was going to get in trouble for it. So, yeah, <laughs> he kind of went and hid in the corner. But, you know, once they convinced him, hey, you're not in trouble, he was like, okay, I'm fine. I'm all right. And he's, he's been great ever since. He's such a sweetie. The one thing with him, I wouldn't rec recommend little kids because they, little kids, not they don't knowing, understand that they, bubble. <laughs> they don't understand the bubble. They don't understand he can't handle being roughhoused. Okay. Being, you know, pulled around, pegged, tugged on, things like that. Most little kids are used to big dogs. Right. Little dogs can't handle what big dogs can take. So you know, you just, I would say somebody tight and older. Okay. Just so that because they so know older kids. Older kids, just because they know by then usually how to handle themselves around dogs. And cats. Where can people go for more information on Tiger or any of the other animals? They up come the up to the animal shelter. We're open Monday through Friday, 10 to 5. Check out petfinder.com or uh, give us a call, 234 6156. All right, well, thank you very much for stopping by this morning.